What's up, guys? You're watching Dad Smoking Cigars, sponsored by Casa Cueva Cigars from our Casa to yours, and starting a new series of videos right now. And with me is my buddy Jorge. Say hello to everyone, Jorge. Hey, how's it going, everybody? <laughs> I work with Jorge at the Home Depot, and him and I got to talking, and he has he smoked before. He smoked like some of the uh, the gas station variety. The great as you, what did you call those types of cigars? Uh, uh, I would say like the great value of cigars. <laughs> Great value brand yeah. type cigars, which we all have. I know I have. I've had gas station smokes. I've had the cheapies. I've had like the. I've had some crappy cigars in my days. So yeah. don't feel like you know. Don't feel bad. Like oh, I've smoked the crap. No, dude, we've all smoked that kind of stuff at some point or another. A lot of us got started on that. So, uh, but now Jorge is uh, at the risk of sounding vulgar. He's, he's popping his cherry tonight. Oh, so right. there we go. There we go. <laughs> so. So, and of course, tonight uh, with Casa Cuevas being our sponsor, we are going to be smoking Casa Cuevas cigars. I'm going to be smoking the Reserva Maduro, and Jorge is going to be trying the Connecticut. Now, Jorge, I am going to educate you on how to start enjoying your cigar, which is actually really easy, really simple. And first, start with the cutter. So, I got loaned you my uh, nice uh, Vertigo cutter. I've had that for a couple years now. So. And with the kind of cigar I'm smoking, I'm smoking a torpedo, and it's got that pointed end. So cutting a torpedo is pretty easy, and so you just like so. So now with yours, you got kind of the rounded cap, and what you want to make sure you don't do is cut off too much of the cap, because if you do, then you it opens it up way too much. You're not able to smoke it as well. So I got you. question is, do you want me to cut it, or do you want to try and cut it yourself? You know what? <laughs> I think I got this guy. Okay, I for sure. Awesome. So, say like right Just around. nip the tip. Yeah, a little bit further back. There you go. I think that, that, that'll do it. Very nice. There Not bad. There we go. All first, right. Very good first cut. <laughs> of course, next step, we've got our lighters here. So what you want to do first is turn it around. Yeah. Because <laughs> <Yes. laughs> you wouldn't be the first person to light the wrong end of cigar. I know I watched a couple friends do it. I think I might have almost done it once or twice. So what you want to do, because the flame gets pretty big, is you want to toast the foot of your cigar. Now I mean, you want to make sure that the flame doesn't actually to actually touch the foot of the cigar. So you got to open that up and then, all right, dude, I think you're good and toasted. And then, Give it a couple puffs. Very well done, my friend. Now, that first taste, the first puff of that cigar, what's your first impression? First impression is not as harsh as I thought it would be. It's right. actually very, it really eases you in. Like compared to like other, again, like I said, the gas station ones I've had. Oh, right, absolute garbage. Yeah, just they got that kind terrible of in the throat. bitter taste, and it's a little bit, you know. So, some of them are actually decent because depending on what brand you buy, I bought a couple of decent gas station cigars, a couple like those two packs, you know, that come with little cigarillos in them. Oh, yeah. And uh, but it, it, the flavor is actually not too bad. But for the most part when you get down to the end of it you're just like okay this is nasty i can't do it anymore but uh with these i mean you get a really good flavor and with what you're smoking it's got kind of a creaminess to it doesn't it? it's like just kind of a s subtly sweet little creamy you know, say, very subtle. and this guy already knows how to retrohale that is impressive because not a lot of cigar smokers actually retrohale oh no where they're blowing like... through the nose because i remember when i first tried i was like <laughs> But I'm pretty sure you smoke other stuff that makes it easy to retrohale, whether it's vape or perhaps or perhaps, some or yes. some some other type of uh, plant-like substance that people enjoy uh, every now and then. Which hey, you know what? It's all good. I have nothing against that whatsoever. So, <laughs> but uh, there. It, with, cigar, with smoking cigars, I mean, there's an obvious difference because you're trying to smoke it for the flavor and the enjoyment of it, the relaxation part of it. 
So this guy's this guy's puffing like a pro. He's puff, you know not inhaling, which I, I, a buddy of mine is like, oh make sure God. you get it on camera if he inhales. And I'm like, <laughs> well, I'm gonna get everything on camera. So if he inhales, yeah, it's gonna happen. Oh no, trust me, I know that much. Yeah, I know that much. So I remember uh, there was a guy I actually used to work with at Home Depot. He joined me and a couple of buddies at a lounge here in Corona. And the guy, I thought I had told him ahead of time, don't inhale. And he tried the cigar, which I'll admit was a little on the stronger side. Yeah. And he's like, his eyes are glazed over, his eyes are bloodshot. No. And I'm like, and he says to me like 10, 15 minutes in, he's like, wait, are you supposed to inhale these? And I'm oh like, oh my gosh, no. No, dude, you're not supposed to inhale no. these. They're not cigarettes. I'm it's a cigar, not... like I'm new to like re like real cigars, but come on, like you, you don't inhale? No, you don't, you, you, you taste it. You kind of hold it in for a second, puff it out, retrohale through the nose if you like, and that kind of opens it up a little bit more. Like, I don't know if you notice the flavor kind of opens up when you blow it out through the nose. It does. Yeah really makes it come out when you when you blow it through the nose and, and it's just it's kind of crazy because I my dad is a seasoned cigar smoker he still won't do it huh. and he says it just screws with you know it, it doesn't look pretty when he tries it <laughs> so I, I and I've told this story before on another video I actually learned to retro hail with my asthma medicine when I was a kid huh. yeah I know <laughs> of all the ways to learn how to blow something out through your nose it was with my albuterol inhaler when I had asthma as a child in elementary school so the thing the, the talents you come across <laughs> at the say. most random of times <laughs> so but uh, yeah so I mean I'm, I'm glad right off the bat dude this guy's already he's smoking like he's a pro and, I'm, and this is awesome so what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of chill and hang out for a little bit enjoy the cigars and uh, I'll we'll get more of Jorge's impressions uh, as we continue to smoke these down so we'll see you guys in just a few seconds all right guys we're just uh, still hanging out here on the patio continue to enjoy our Casa Cueva cigars uh, busted out a little bit of bourbon to kind of continue with the chill atmosphere and uh, I think uh, this guy was born to be a cigar smoker. It feels like it feels definitely feels like it just by the way, like he's he's smoking like he's. I mean, I know you've smoked before. There, that's not what's in question. But in terms of smoking a cigar, a little bit different, a little bit kind of a different experience. But you were telling me a couple of things before we started the video about when you first started taking some puffs out the cigar. What did what ha happened that you expertly hid from everyone? Oh, so that you're being transparent for that. So of course, you know, compared to like other things, like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like um, wasn't expecting it to be uh, as harsh as it was at first to get it going. Mm -hmm. But then, yeah, afterwards, um, yeah, like I started to get a little bit of a cough building up, but you know, <laughs> had to keep my cool, like I was telling Kyle here, had to channel my inner Arnie, you know what I mean? Smoke with a stogie, yeah. you know, I, I, I gotta keep my cool. I had to keep Absolutely. my cool. Absolutely, I wish I thought that was the best, is because yes, Arnie, I, I think we all try to channel our inner, inner Arnie when we're smoking cigars, because you know, everyone should, after dinner, should smoke a cigar. You know, which that's an actual Arnie quote that if you ever get a chance to watch that video, it's hilarious talking about where and when he smokes stogies and how often he does it and how he doesn't need to hide when he does it. Yeah, find exactly. a little find a little corner to smoke his cigars. So but uh, <laughs> but that's awesome, dude. I'm, I'm glad that uh, you took you're, you're taking to it so awesome and you're enjoying it. So like, oh, yeah, like, what what are you like when you're tasting the cigar, some of the flavors and stuff like that? What, what are you getting out of it? Like when you're smoking? Well, after getting through a bit of this now, I'm definitely getting um, like you, uh, like you were mentioning earlier, definitely a bit sweet. Mm -hmm. Definitely um, like a bit of a creamy taste to it. Yeah. And yeah, and then it pairs really well with the uh, the bourbon that we have here too. Yeah, so. we're drinking some old Forester tonight. Decided to you know, good whiskey, good rum, always pairs great with cigars. And uh, have you been noticing like kind of a little bit of a spice in there? Yes, actually. Yeah. Yes. That's exactly. one of my favorite things about what that specific cigar you're smoking. Yeah is that it's mild, but it still has a little bit of a kick to it. 
and it's it's stronger than it lets on because you know Connecticut's tend to be like really mild cigars they're good starter cigars if you've never smoked one before yeah uh, which is why I picked that one in particular for you because I didn't want to like go all friggin guns blazing into it because I'm the, the cigar I'm smoking is not like crazy strong but I feel like if I gave you this one you'd be like whoa that's a bit much for me I'm gonna say it would have been a torpedo for my system yes it sure. would have been exactly <laughs> so but I'm glad you're enjoying it man and uh I, I, I hope I've opened you up to some uh, another uh, leisurely activity you can enjoy every here and there. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Like, I, I could definitely say, like, I could see myself um, smoking a cigar, you know, a bit more often now. Like, Absolutely. Like, way for sure. Like, this is great. I've, I've proselytized him already. <laughs> and... Uh, Every, uh, I'm going to be hearing about some of his purchases and what he's tried here and there. He's going to be coming to me at work saying, hey, what should I try next? What should I get next? And I would be <laughs> more than happy to tell you what you should try because there's so many good cigars out there. There's so many. I, I mean, I've, been, I've smoked hundreds of, cigar, hundreds of cigars over the past couple of years, but there's still so many I haven't tried. So you never know what kind of... You never know what kind of experience you're going to get out of the next cigar. Maybe it's just okay. It may be mind-blowing. I've had both. So, yeah, dude, you've got, you, you've got a lot to experience. And uh, yeah, I, I have a feeling you're going to enjoy it quite a bit. No, but yeah, like, shout out to Cuevas. Like, you yeah, guys, you, you guys did good. Like, like, <laughs> like this is very enjoyable. I'm really no, they, they, they make fantastic cigars. And uh, I'm, I, I'm looking forward to you trying the other ones that they have because they do have them, like, all across the board from... The mile to full body very strong but i i've said this over and over again and i don't say this just because they are the sponsor of dad smoking cigars i say this because it's true i have not had a bad experience with a single casa Cueva cigar at all not but not one bad experience so was it and i'm not even sponsored by them like <laughs> and, and yeah i'm enjoying it a lot so. yeah absolutely <laughs> so well, thanks for joining us, guys, uh, for this uh, new series of videos I hope to put out, you know, fairly frequently. Um, cigar noobs is what we're calling them, and Jorge is a cigar noob, but he's handling like a pro. So, <laughs> thanks again for joining us, guys. We hope you enjoyed, and as always, catch you in the next one. Hey guys, thanks again for tuning into this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And also follow Dad Smoking Cigars on dads underscore smoking underscore cigars on Instagram. And be sure to check us out on Facebook. Until then, guys, stay smoky, and I'll see you in the next one.